we received uh, two claims concerning pump pressure problem. Uh, the pump pushes water over 14 bar. Uh, the customer tried to uh, adjust the bypass, uh, this, uh, but the pressure didn't, didn't decrease. Can happen when the bypass inside uh, the pump inside here is uh, blocked, is uh, glued. This is uh, the mechanism that form the bypass. The pressure is adjusted uh, thanks to a spring here, which pushes up, because the pump is uh, in this direction, pushes up uh, this black component, practically it is this. In uh, consideration of uh, how it adjusted, uh, the pump pressure can be personalized as, uh, uh, for, for every cast customer and uh, for uh, every preference. More the spring, this spring pushes, more pressure will have uh, uh, the pump, more uh, the pressure goes shows an higher pressure. Uh, while less the spring pushes, uh, less pressure uh, will have uh, uh, the pump. Uh, the pr the practically in the pressure goes shows less pressure. This machine works, uh, and uh, as we can see, now I have more than 14 bar, and now I decrease, I unscrew, and unscrew the screw and the pressure decrease as we can see now I screw increase unscrew decrease the adjustment screw this uh, does, doesn't decrease the pressure of the pump it is necessary to change uh, or the pump which uh, with a new one this pump uh, we can try to disassemble uh, the bypass component and uh, clean and uh, reassemble, re reassemble it again. 99% of uh, probability that is uh, uh, this black piece, this, uh, reassemble it, is blocked and uh, cannot move inside as we can see when uh, is uh, the, the spring is compressed. I can try to do this. Okay, as we can see, uh, when we adjust this, have to move it. If it's locked, uh, practically is, uh, for example, in this, this condition, in this position, sorry, up and that, you remove, 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 and you can also remove the spring, but this is locked in uh, this position. Sometimes happens uh, or uh, uh, you can find some um, or some limestone or uh, some uh, some, um, some dirty here and practically it's because this cannot move as we can see here we have the o-ring but this is clean and uh, you can move it and uh, uh, if this is locked, uh, uh, practically you unscrew the, the adjustment screw, but this is locked and uh, nothing happens. This is the bottom of uh, the Bianca machine. Uh, we have a small inspection here and uh, 
uh, if we remove this we can check the heating element uh, coffee boiler heating element and uh, if it's broken we can uh, uh, change it from here here is for the steam boiler uh, uh, heating element and also for uh, if we have to check the pump and then we have to remove this uh, and also the tube this the connection for the water tank then I remove this first screw out and the second first second now I have to remove first of all this uh, and uh, the spring this uh, be careful not lose the spring is here and uh, second uh, the the spring okay now I have to remove this and uh, I have to unlock this I do this and uh, unscrew this nut be careful if we lose something inside in the machine we have to open the machine then be careful okay as we can see this is the uh, components that uh, uh, also this uh, is uh, very hard and okay now is uh, is enough a little bit of limestone and uh, the o-ring um, uh, locked locked these components in uh, in uh, in out position and uh, then uh, when we remove the spring uh, this uh, uh, not is not moving, uh, stay in out position. Then we have to clean. Okay, it's enough. Uh, inside we have another component. Inside we have uh, uh, this component, component because we have removed only this. Uh, if uh, it's not necessary to to remove it because usually the lime soil cannot arrive to do to or have no effect on the, that that valve but if we have to remove it uh, it's not so easy wait one second uh, if we want uh, it's not so easy because we have to use something like this or something okay look be careful to not lose inside in the machine as we can see we ha we have removed all the pump component Now we have to clean and uh, reassemble it again. This is the components that uh, we have to, 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 to remove and clean to fix the problem. Uh, be careful if we have to remove, if we want to remove this, uh, because uh, it's not only a plastic part, as we can see. Inside we have a spring, uh, and uh, the spring uh, works because it's, it's a real valve here. It's very compact valve. And be careful because if we move uh, this, uh, this part. Okay, as we can see, uh, I've removed uh, this from the, uh, I pull out this from the machine. And I have this. this and uh, this and I have to introduce this in this way 
but now it's difficult to reassemble this then uh, please uh, does not be careful if we have if we want to remove this uh, to clean it i cannot recommend because it's not necessary to fix the problem also because now it's very difficult to 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 fix because i have to do something uh, hard i need some tools uh, to to pull the spring and uh, lock this again i have a new one is easier this is new and uh, i can reassemble uh, i have uh, i use always molycotic rays for uh, alimentary molycotic rays for uh, o-ring gasket uh, and uh, all is nsf approved if you don't have this you can use also silicone uh, alimentary silicone rays and in this case uh, uh, I can suggest to use a little, a little bit of grace, but really a small part, and we have to loop the seal. Also to avoid issue for a long time. I, I've removed also only to show you and then push uh, push inside and uh, now I have to introduce this to fix this I remove the spring I screw the nut My 20 French millimeter key. I do this to to do a little bit of power. Okay. Now, uh, don't forget uh, the spring, and now the adjustment uh, screw. Uh, now we have to uh, reinstall. this screw Screw, tube, one, two. Now I have to, this is, uh, I don't lock the black nut because I have to uh, find my, my, my pressure. I set the pressure between uh, 9 and 10 or, or 10, 11 if uh, I want my, more pressure for the coffee. And uh, nothing, we can try the machine. Okay, if we can check the pressure gauge. Now it's 12. Please check if we find some, uh, some leaking from the bottom of the machine. I have no leaking. Clean to check. 
Okay, again, no, no leaking. And uh, the adjustment screw works. I set my, my Bianca at 10 bar, in this case. 10 bar, and uh, that's it. 